Hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Backroads with you today. We're in the Ozarks Backroads garage working on a little project here for the Tiger 800. We're going to make us a uh, tool tube to put some tools in and store on the bike so we don't have to be using up our, our uh, space in our side cases or our top case for tools. So what I've got here is a piece of uh, four inch uh, PVC I picked up at the hardware store and I've cut it to the length I want. And then I've got an end cap for it to go on one end. And then on the other end, I've got a uh, adapter that takes a plug to put on the other end where I can open it up and access my uh, my contents inside. So what I've done on the plug here, these threads are real grabby and hard to work uh, when you buy them new. So I went ahead and sanded the, the uh, edges of the thread, just the top edge down, just kind of flattened them off. Did the same thing on the plug here uh, until I got a nice uh, smooth engagement all the way in as far as I want to go. So that'll help and then we'll grease those threads when we get done and that'll make it nice and smooth and the, the grease will help keep any water from running down the threads if you ever get get in any heavy rain or if I dump it over in the creek or something which hope, hopefully doesn't ever happen but the grease will keep the water from penetrating anyhow. So I'm going to mount this up to the back side of the side case uh, rack on the left side of the bike and uh, I've got enough room with it mounted up that the tire can't hit it. It'll, the tire will be out here and there's not enough suspension travel on the bike for the sprocket to come up and hit it. So it should be fine and it'll kind of be hidden away. You really won't see it too much. And then we're gonna uh, give it a nice coating of uh, rust-oleum truck bed coating <laughs> so we're gonna give it a bed liner coating it'll be a textured uh, kind of a semi-flat finish on it this should be pretty tough once it sets up and gets hard uh, i think it'll stick good and it, it won't get all messed up and marked up and main thing is that i want to scratch it and the white show through i think this will work so to prep these pieces i went ahead and wiped them all down with paint thinner got any grease off of them, cleaned them up. I'm gonna go ahead and take some 220. Uh, this is wet and dry, but really dry would be just regular dry sandpaper would be better. And I'm just gonna go over these and uh, just kind of scratch them up real good and give that uh, bed liner paint there, that coating something to bite into there kind of open the texture up on this on this plastic well we've gone over all of our pieces with the sandpaper with the 220 and uh, got them all scuffed up opened the skin up on them hopefully our uh, our paint will stick to them i went ahead on this piece that takes the plug it had ribs on it i went ahead and ground them off on the bench grinder smoothed it up Maybe it won't look quite so Home Depot. So I guess I'm kind of pimping out my sewer pipe here that I'm going to put on my bike. So now we're ready to glue it up. We'll glue up our uh, cap and the, this end here, the old purple cleaner here, and let that set for just a minute. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing right here on the ends of our pipe. Now we'll take our, our glue, and then we'll go around the pipe with the glue as well. I believe that's enough. I might be able to just push that all the way down. <clears throat> Hold it for just a minute. Then we'll do the other end the same way. Great. Got dust on it. All right, I think we got more than enough there. That made for a pretty long, pretty long, uh, 
<laughs> tube there to put tools in. 18 inches inside usable length. But my, uh, my tire spoons are, I think they're about 16 inches. So I should have plenty of room for everything I need there. We'll let that dry just a little bit, and then we will wipe this down with some uh, paint thinner one last time, and it'll be ready to paint. Well, we've got our tube all painted up, and I put my uh, plug in it here at the depth that I want it to be set at. So what I'm going to do now, I want a, a way to lock it so that I'm assured that this plug will never come out on me uh, when I'm going down the road or something. So what I think I'm going to do, the simplest thing, is just drill a hole right back here. Uh, about halfway into the plug and then angle it and have it come out down here so it cuts through the plug and then comes out on the outside out here and then I'll just stick a cotter pin, a cotter pin in it and bend it over on the end that'll lock it down and then just pull the pin out and to to release it well let's see what we can do here Should be able to put a collar pin through there, bend it over, and be locked in. We'll touch this up with some black paint, make it look all pretty again. We got our holes touched up here with a little touch-up paint, and uh, looks okay. And the other thing that I did was put a little uh, grease in the uh, threads on this plug and inside here I'm gonna have to wipe a little bit of that extra off but that really makes it work smooth and it'll also keep uh, water from uh, migrating up the threads if it ever gets water on it or in water or whatever so that's uh, that's that for the plug um, we're ready to mount it up on the bike we'll take a look at that here we are on the left side of the bike and uh, we're going to mount the, uh, the tube up on the back side. There's a bracket here that it could pull up against. And the same back here. And I'm just going to use band straps, a couple here and a couple here. Pull the thing up against the back of this bracket. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do with it. So this will fit in here like this. And we'll access our plug right here off the back to get in and out of the tube. And then our case, our side case fits over. I don't think you'll see much of it with the side case on it. So I'll get the band uh, straps out here and we'll see if we can get this thing strapped up. We've got our uh, tube strapped up to the side of the bike there. It doesn't look too bad. I uh, changed my mind on the, um, the metal straps and went with cable ties instead. I used uh, the heavy duty, the big wide thick uh, heavy duty ties on it. Actually I use these right here. Uh, cable ties heavy duty, I don't know. They're a lot bigger than your regular cable tie. Kind of hard to work with but I figured out how to tighten them up. So that's kind of what it looks like without the box on it. Uh, here's a shot from the rear side of it. We'll go ahead and mount our box up and see how much of this we can see when the box is mounted up on it. Here we are, we've got our box uh, mounted up here. And that's about all you can see, just the very end of the tube there sticking out behind the box. So that's not too bad. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be really noticeable at all. We'll go around and look at it here from the back side and see how it looks. And here's a shot from the back quarter of it. You can kind of see the end of the snout sticking out there at the end, but it's not too noticeable. I think it's fine for an adventure bike. I don't think anybody's gonna complain about that. Uh, looks pretty good.
Well, folks, I appreciate you all hanging out with me and checking out the uh, installation here on the uh, Hillbilly sewer pipe on the Tiger 800. Invite you all to come back. We'll get into something else, do something else. Until I catch up with you again, you all take care of yourselves and we'll catch you later.